Many people reached out to me to ask about style raw parameter introduced with Midjourney version 5.1. It seems there is some confusion about it. In this video we'll deep dive into the style raw parameter to better understand when and how to use it. And we will try running some prompt studies to keep things empirical and scientific. At the end of the video I will share my conclusions of these experiments as well as what's the optimal way to use raw style. Let's start by demystifying what style raw is. Essentially, style raw parameter in Midjourney 5.1 allows you to strip away some of the default Midjourney aesthetic styles, giving your images a more raw, unfiltered and realistic look. In practice, it's more complicated than that. There are two ways you can enable raw mode. 1. Meet journey raw mode in a prompt. If you want to use raw mode for specific prompts and not all the time, add style raw parameter to the end of your input prompt. 2. Permanent activation via settings. To ensure raw mode is always enabled for all your image creations, activate it within your meet journey settings. Now, let's do some science. We're going to run some tests to see the magic of raw mode in action. The first experiment focused on prompt length, keeping the input prompt short and concise. For a short, less detailed prompt like an ecosystem inside a jar, the V51 algorithm generates a more stylized image. When the same prompt is given in raw mode, the image appears less stylized and more realistic or loyal to the original words without adding much creativity on top of it. With one exception of extremely stylized version, showing that raw mode is more dependent on creator's artistic direction, otherwise it may add some random artistic options to the grid. In the same way, prompt, neon lights in the beach brought some creative explorations on V51 side, whereas raw mode put literally neon lights to the beach and took everything literal. However, after adding cyberpunk style as keyword to my prompt, raw mode changed the light and quickly brought cyberpunk colors. This shows how critical to give creative direction to raw mode because it delivers really well. Here is another example. I used the prompt a beautiful book and a cat staring at a fish in a bowl. Since these prompts are quite generic and short I was expecting more creative and figurative interpretation from V51 and more literal interpretation from style raw close to realism, and I wasn't surprised by the result. On the other hand, long complex prompts with more specific details like photorealistic cute tiny slow loris eating marshmallows and chocolate on the backdrop of magic mushrooms, neon lights, pink and green spotlights, wide angle, hyper realistic, the raw mode picks up on detail better than V51, especially when style elements are referenced. For our second experiment, I wanted to understand how style raw reacts to AI photography prompts and if there is any impact when keywords like photo of a X or photography used in the prompt. First test was with prompt photo of a girl, muted white's color palette, depth of field. Here I did not realize a massive difference between raw and 5.1. However, things started to get interesting when I used a more complex photography prompt including a certain posture like a woman sitting in the bathroom. I realized style raw gives better results when subject is doing a really specific activity. Then style raw delivers what I asked in the prompt on the output really well. In conclusion, Mid Journey V51 is like autopilot, finds the best way and optimal style for your prompts and does especially well to stylize short prompts. I'm guessing that serves well to average Mid Journey user. Raw mode, on the other hand, is for people who know exactly and precisely what they want from their artwork and also the life. Raw is perfect for long prompts with detailed style descriptions or for specific scenes or action scenes. However, in regular portrait photography you won't see a massive difference between 5.1 and Raw. Which one is your favorite? I'm really curious of your opinion. Let me know in the comments down below. I generated all the base images using Mid Journey with the prompts from the Mid Journey V51 AI Photography Style Guide. You can find the link in the description below and in the pinned comment. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. If you want to learn more about creating art with Mid Journey, click here.